right there. That's good right there. <laughs> so I thought this came, this is where the sample came okay. from. Thank that you. was pretty easy. That, that, so that is a sample. It would be the same. So your nitric would come through here. So the, uh, the, so the nitric, uh, the, 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 that line there. This looks like sample line. No, no, if you read it, it says delivery <laughs> out. Yeah. Turn around. The, yeah, so that, that's the delivery because that's yeah. how we would connect it to the conventional. The sample line's always going to have that filter in it. Okay. Yeah. That's, the, that's the best way I can tell you is it's got that filter. And you see that end piece there? That's always going to be the and sample. And it doesn't matter which way it is. So yeah, and so that piece would hook underneath. That would hook up to your sample T piece, and then go to the, the air on that. I'm assuming use. that they're all going to be the same connections. It's just newer and digital. Yeah, it just seems so a lot easier than what we're doing. It's yeah. 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 been a good easy. company. It wouldn't be surprised if it's they did they make fit. all different connections and make you have to purchase them. That's how all those places do it. Where they don't. With the uh, adults are using a coaxial circuit. For um, nitric, on the adults, I'm going to use an advent. Do you use a coaxial circuit or a standard two limb circuit? It's the no, it's the it's just the standard. Uh, it's the one one limb. So you use like okay. the uh, yeah, so the coaxial uh, with one inside the other. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Do you use uh, nitric? Yeah. Those? <laughs> so yeah, we do. Um, it's do not the that? best concept, but we end up <clears throat> tearing down one of our. Um, the air knock system. We not air knock. The uh, I carry a system, and we bring that. We bring the blender and then we bring that module with yeah. a tank and another tank. They look different, Jason. We put the injector yeah. module in there. Yeah. 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 The yeah. injector goes here. Yeah. Yeah. We put the sample like like carrier one at the, at the head. Like right up there? A little bit like Pretty right, much. Right before the floor? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know the carrier's got See, a bunch of I've That's not one. exactly right. I no. tested these both ways. ways. So that's how they're sampling. The sample on the left it, and the delivery on the right. What we were looking for. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. Because so, so it, it should be behind the Y, or technically anymore. that's in front of the Y for the sample uh, okay. line. See, that's that would be where the well, that would, that's for the bag. Is. But if you got yeah. good readings, that's so, what so yeah, it's behind. <laughs> it's behind yeah. all that. So it's going to be between. Um, it's going to so be. So let's let's say this is the end of the coaxial. Yeah, they are going to be. Different. Here's the flow sensor. So it'll be. Um, you put it like in between the the, the coaxial and the flow sensor. So with the neos, I think with the adult. Oh, with the adult. I think you guys yeah, put just, it further back, curious, right? Right? like right here. Yeah, we're putting it behind. The, all. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the, the sample line we would try to put is, you know, uh, we would like six sure inches back. But however, okay. we can get it up there, and then the module we're just hooking it all the way to yeah. the back. Okay. We're hooking the module up um, so with a little bit of the with, with um, six so inches of the right. blue corrugated tubing. That way, you six have inches. some wiggle room to yeah. move okay. things around. Yeah, Did you want me to pull up bipap on the other one? Let me just show you the mode. I mean. Sound like you wouldn't see it. So I don't know what the ends are, but yeah, this shows that I mean, at least the connections going to the aerogen are completely different. Because this looks like a sample, and this looks like the injector. That just looks. Hmm. Yeah, that connection looks. That's fine. I mean, I'm sure the ends though are going to be. That way it plugs in. Yeah, but it's still got to be able to connect to whatever circuit the hospital or the facility is using, so those should be pretty standard. On the yeah. If you're using a standard two limb circuit with that, then it's no problem. If you're trying to use a coaxial, then people run into problems because it doesn't adapt. I assume way. the sample line's got to be the same, a little twist. So I'm sure the sample line, because that's kind of like a universal sample line, mm -hmm. I carry uses the same ones, you know. Out. So the sample line, I'm sure, wouldn't be a problem. What I'm curious about is the delivery line. Uh, like, or is this one even to come with? The yeah, carrier one, the, the module like, actually fits the right there. Comes with the injector module, like the carrier. It sounds like it's like back at the machine where the injector is, and you just have a line. Are you looking for the pictures? Are you already? I am. Yeah, <laughs> looking for the old set. Let me see what I have. Of what? I think I have it. What we do or an hour did I get it? Oh, I got it. Yeah. What are y'all looking for? Just he so wants to see how the, so the mod, where the module goes. We, yeah. Because even, even in a single limb, what we do is we take the module and we put it with that six inch piece of blue corrugating tubing. Yeah, there it is. That's so this how is one good. setup. This is a, I mean, there's it's different ways to do it. Yes, sir. Also, guys, never forget, there's the 1-800 uh, number right there, 24 7 technical and clinical support. So one of us, there's 19 okay. of us around the country, and one of us is always on the call. Yeah. So, yeah. These are the ones that are in the book, like are inside our, the pictures I think you yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. did this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, let's see. Just so it doesn't stick out straight, so it... Oh, yeah. 
And this is. I sent you. Oh, okay. oh. And I will send it to all the nurses. Where's the sample? Are you putting the sample line? Okay. So here's yeah here's the problem with that. So the Y is technically here. So your sample line's here. So you get mixed gases for your sample. Which Should are not we put straight this after the? Well, the only uh, way only way you can do it with that coaxial is if, if you put six inches more here, and then your sample line, okay. and then connect it. To Done deal. We can't do nothing. So you can you put this there, put that yeah. here. That makes sense. So we do it all. Then it would mix. After this, put like a an adapter, and then add six yeah, inches, and then put anything. the sample. Is that what no, you're saying? because it's the Y is sample. technically yeah. here. So anything I mean, past that do do is mixed gases. Yeah. It's so, very next to so where are you saying to put that? So thing? I would take this out, right now, and then I would configure it. this where that you can put the sample line well, I tested it, it here. Came, it came through fine. So you have the injector, six inch tubing like that, and then your sample line, and then the circuit starts. Well, which one is she? Okay, so you're line? saying not closest to the it's, patient yeah. like we would in the hospital. It's close to the patient, but it's mixed gases, so you're yeah. shooting yourself in the foot by putting it down. Not as far as what the module, the sample. sample. You, the sample. I never put the sample down there, though. No. He said, don't do this. Don't That's put the sample by because the patient. No. This is the patient Y here, right there. Yeah. Okay. okay, so this gas is mixed inspiratory and expiratory gas. The sample line should always be on the inspiratory. Oh, I see what you're saying. So yeah, you're right, you're right. Yep. So it's going to be a little here, off. Um, after between this clear uh -huh. and that, like put six inches. Okay, so you're sampling and to make sure you're delivering before yes. it gets to that one. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's more accurate. Okay. Okay. That would be Do how... Do you want to see this go? No. Yeah, it would more conform to so, Icarus. Uh, I don't know if you yeah. can see that. I think it's yeah. That's the sample forget. line? You got After that other line inside yeah. of that, yeah. that circuit. It's, and then that's our flow sensor, and he's saying... Right. It's a single limb circuit. Right? Yeah. He's right. saying don't do that. So we usually put it closer to the patient. Like here, Think about it. The problem with doing it that way is that depending on whether they're reading spontaneous or a lot, you get a lot of erratic readings on the actual vent. You always want to have it further back so uh, you're catching it before it gets to the patient. Yeah. Yes. So he's saying after the module, add six inches, then put the sample in. So you put your module, uh -huh. and then you'd have six inches, do your sample line, then the circuit starts. Okay. Gotcha. And you yeah. don't have to have that six inches coming from that to the module. It just allows you to yeah. bend around stuff. So you can go directly module if you have the room. Yeah, the thing about it, just remember that with all those attachments. Oh, just, you're, it created dead space. Yeah, yeah. you're, you're yeah. Well, anything back here is not dead space. It's not dead space. It's anything dead in space front of them. That's what I'm saying by, by adding stuff. So you'd be actually taking yeah. out dead space. Yeah, that's what I'm saying by us adding how we had yeah. it. We were creating dead space. Yeah. Absolutely. Less Think about it. Just, just be real careful because there's a lot of stuff to come disconnected. Yeah, it's sure. uh, it's tough to get. You know. I know. I, I, I picked up a patient on nitric. Me and Jerry picked up one it's with the, with that setup. It's not fun. Yeah. Yeah, that was a nightmare. with the four chest tubes. Yeah, that was a nightmare. <laughs> so basically, all you are adding another six inch. Yeah. So um, yeah, <coughs> right before and then attaching the. The circuit itself, correct? Yeah. That just gives it a chance to mix. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Well, pass it on to your folks. We love the Hamilton. It's a great um, ventilator. All right. So many times we go places and people go, oh man, you all have the Hamiltons. This is so awesome. We wish we could have this. <laughs> yeah, by far, that was the best purchase we've ever had. Uh, yeah. Why do you not like about it? There's nothing There's I don't nothing like, about that I like about it. It's a great ventilator. Do you have anything you wish it would do? It was a little smaller. Yeah, it was a little smaller. smaller. Maybe a little less. And I think it's Maybe a little bit smaller, I guess. The weight, eh, but uh, I mean, there's other there. connectors as far as like the Ferno device, if you get up there, mm -hmm. the rack. Oh, I know what you can do. Okay. For the, 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 P, the Neo one that you have, you guys have like an adapter on top that's like a, like a handle. That thing oh, yeah. Is like, the flip up? Yeah. That's, that's only available with the International Biomass. Oh, man, that thing's are less, man. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not. It's, it's like made of like I recycled think it came plastic. From Mattel or something, man. Yeah, that's. Like, yeah. Hasbro. That's, <laughs> we only created that handle so it would fit into their 
I forget which one it is. Yeah, yeah. Place. I think once you put it in there, it stays in there. I guess, yeah. For that, it's but. not made for carrying it around by the handle. Like when what they're a using it. Being. Correct. Is what you said. <laughs> because don't hold it by that. Yeah. So, so that's not. Yeah. That one doesn't have. Uh, like yeah. That. Well, if you right. think of anything else, I'm yeah, actually the product manager for this mean, event. Why is that? Direct oh, line to Switzerland, yeah. so they're always asking for ideas and feedback. Yeah. So this oh. special assignment. It's got to update your pictures on how to set this thing up. Yeah, I yeah. want to play with it again. Yeah. Did you guys take pictures of it? I'm going to have the, the video as well, and I'll I'll, I'll post that to mm -hmm. our yeah. to our thing. But um, if you guys, no Carol, picture, Carol, you took all pictures, right? I took one yeah, picture. I did. But it's got no and I sent it to the phone. We have YouTube. I think there's we have a YouTube sure video on it. Do you want to change the picture? I sent it oh, to cool. send it to everybody. That'd be great. That's why this Check out the Hamilton same. Medical pressure YouTube pressure channel. Pressure. Yeah, I can do it off the. Uh, uh, so how do you bring that up? Uh, Hamilton Medical or YouTube Carol. Hamilton Medical or? What? Oh, I do you do the RTs? I can do the RNs. I'll send it to you again. Yeah. Do you it's like the, the same thing like the Zoll, that one does. where it's a library where you, support you sign up and you actually can get CDUs so as well. I'm wondering yeah, if well, I mean, I did that when we first yeah. got to Hamilton. It's just updated. It's the same thing. It's just got... We're adding stuff to it all the time, yeah. actually. Because I've seen some oh, wow. YouTube on the Hamilton, and it was just somebody yeah. shooting it like we're doing right well, now. Yeah. 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 It'd be nice to yeah. actually There's have... There's a lot of those. Yeah. No, what yeah, it's a great memory. I love it. Yeah. This one does so, not have a shirt. Like like I think hmm? uh, he wants to look halfway through. Uh, I was following a little bit. Uh, <laughs> with it, you guys are going to have the new one that you got. Know, that's what our RPs are for. You know, I, <laughs> I don't see this. I don't see we, are, you know, we usually have cookie cutter settings. If you don't know anything about a kid, you start 20 over 5 at a rate of 40. I time at point three five, point four, And that's what we use most of the time. And obviously, post Cervanta, you may adjust that pressure down a little bit because you've got improved lung compliance. It has this here. Right now, it's PC. You know, 99% of the time, we're in a in a pressure yeah, mode, and, 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 and that's what we normally so use. Yeah. But with so the cross vent, yeah. we didn't have the uh, so SIMB capability, so the kid could be trying to breathe and getting agitated, but he couldn't breathe for many Okay, now we're going to have the ventilator. We can deliver our usual pressure core of eight. And uh, right. that one has stuff so, that I mean, that's that awesome. That we used to use the LTV yeah. before. Hey, John. John. <laughs> They're selling those uh, two for the price of one now. <laughs> sure. Literally, I heard this. This is true. Yeah. What's that? LTV. Oh, yeah. No, it's not the LTV. It's oh. the Ravel. Oh, the Ravel. Ravel. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Two, for, uh, two for one. If you're out in the <laughs> wilderness, man, you can always count on that to get your fire going. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> you know, they, had fire like, they had like four, four, four reported fires from it from the battery. Yeah. Everybody I've talked to, they were It makes a nice boat anchor. Yeah. We had a question over here. Door stop. Right. You might come over here. Oh, yes. I could show you this. We have two of them here. So I this is our this is our old hallway, right? This is our older one. Okay. This is our new one. On the yeah. older one, for modes, it shows pressure SIMB yeah. that we have it. Mm -hmm. So we go into it, but then there's no option for pressure support. So it's not a true SIMB. 